yeah Ay, Bitch so bad, I wanna shoot, shoot, shoot Like hoops while I'm riding in the coupe I got what you want and ain't nothing but a loop Welcome to the show if you are new to Fado NBA, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. We talk hoops around here, and today it'll be the Fox, Swiper, Swiper Fox, or commonly known as De'Aaron Fox. The NBA superstar, or star point guard, depending on who you're talking to, currently playing for the Sacramento Kings. Before De'Aaron was the star he is today, he'd done his high school hoop in at Cypress Lakes High School, and it didn't take long for De'Aaron to gain attention through his exceptional speed and athleticism that he showed on the court. This meant that his stock throughout the entire country rose drastically. And thanks to De'Aaron's stock rising throughout the country, after high school, De'Aaron was lucky enough to commit to playing college basketball for the University of Kentucky. De'Aaron was a one and done college basketballer at Kentucky, but he made sure to lift some eyebrows in his solo season playing for the Wildcats. De'Aaron Fox really made a name for himself in the match against UCLA Bruins and especially Lonzo Ball. After UCLA topped Kentucky during the regular season, Darren made sure to help avenge the loss in the NCAA double tournament with 39 points on 13 of 20 shooting as a part of an 86-75 Wildcats win. He was the primary defender on Ball the entire game, holding him to just 10 points on 14 shooting from the field. And Darren Fox, when asked about any extra motivation, on beating the UCLA Bruins, he went straight to LeVar Ball and brought up at how confident LeVar had been all season since Lonzo had finally made a name for himself. Him and especially Lonzo Ball really propelled him into that top five pick for the NBA draft as it was already under the assumption Mark Fultz was the number one pick, Lonzo Ball was going to be number two. It really put Darren Fox in that third point guard role with other guards such as Frank Nittalikina, Dennis Smith Jr, Malik Monk, Luke Kennard and even Donovan Mitchell. This game and dominating Lonzo Ball was such a big name at that time propelled him into a top pick and eventually meant that with the fifth pick of the 2017 NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings, they got a good one in De'Aaron Fox. It's funny looking back at this draft class and how notoriously Sacramento is such a terrible drafting franchise, yet in this draft class, full of, at the time, which looked like great point guards or guards, didn't turn out to be many, as Mark Alfaltz and Lonzo Ball, injury riddled, never got going, Frank Nittalikina couldn't hit a jump shot, never got going, Dennis Smith Jr. had off-called this one, and man, they did, they got a good one at number five in the air Fox. Darren had a no doubt impressive rookie season as he played in 73 games, starting 60 of them. And as the season progressed, he became one of Sacramento's primary playmakers and ball handlers. Yet, throughout his rookie season, he found it very difficult adjusting to the pace of play in the NBA, as pace and agility being Darren's greatest asset. He found it a massive struggle having enough energy to kick it in the fourth quarter as he would be playing helter skelter throughout the first three and not preserving enough for the fourth quarter so this was one of the biggest you'd say learning curves for him throughout his rookie season as just getting through a full NBA game and especially the season as back to backs three games in five days and stuff like that it wore on him very quickly as it does with many rookies